I have some videos coming up that require me to work with cyanide gas. So today I'm going to demonstrate the synthesis of alkyl nitrates, which are a broad class of drugs that work as a very effective cyanide antidote. To begin the synthesis, I start by dissolving 24.5 grams of sodium nitrite in 100 milliliters of distilled water. In a separate vessel, I dilute 10 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid with 6.5 milliliters of distilled water. As always, be careful when adding sulfuric acid to water as it releases a lot of heat. After my acid mixture is cooled, I want to add it slowly to 0.32 moles of any alcohol. I'm using isopentyl alcohol here, and so the product will be isopentyl nitrite or amyl nitrate, but any alcohol can be used as the alcohol group is essentially a carrier for the nitrite group. The resulting solution is cooled to zero degrees Celsius, and then it's poured into an addition funnel that's attached to my flask containing my sodium nitrite solution. I then rotate my stopper so that I can allow my acidic alcohol solution into my sodium nitrite solution dropwise. During this process, the reaction vessel needs to be kept as cold as possible to limit the formation of toxic nitrogen dioxide gases. As you can see though, some amount of nitrogen dioxide is going to be produced regardless, and once the addition is done, I disconnect it and move it under my fume hood. At this point though, the reaction probably isn't quite done yet, so I'm going to shake my vessel under my fume hood a couple times to make sure everything's thoroughly incorporated and reacted. Waiting for nitrogen dioxide to stop being produced is not an indicator that the reaction is done, as I did use an excess in this process. Speaking of the reaction, this proceeds via a Fischer esterification reaction, and since I've done a couple of those on this channel, I'm not going to beat the mechanisms into the ground, but they're included at the very end of the video if you want to stay around to see them. In any case, once I feel the reaction is pretty much complete, I transfer my crude isopentyl nitrite to a separatory funnel to do a couple washing steps. For this process, I'm just going to drain away the lower aqueous layer and then do two thorough washings with a saturated sodium bicarbonate solution, which should be more than adequate for its use as an antidote. Speaking to its use as an antidote, alkyl nitrates prevent cyanide poisoning by oxidizing hemoglobin from its plus 2 to its plus 3 oxidation state. This plus 3 state is called methemoglobin, which can bind to and sequester cyanide from the blood. However, methemoglobin can't bind to oxygen, which is why the ingestion of any nitrate-containing compound, including most pre-workouts, can be very dangerous in high doses. Another common use of alkyl nitrates is in the treatment of acute chest pain caused by insufficient blood flow to the heart. This is because nitrates are powerful vasodilators which will cause an immediate and significant drop in blood pressure. Because of these two critical and time-sensitive uses, most ambulances and hospitals have this compound on hand. Now, while this chemical can be purchased by anyone in the United States without a license, it's no longer sold as a medication. And that's because excessive or improper administration of this compound can be dangerous. And it's on that note that I just want to remind everyone that this video is for educational purposes only, and you should not replicate anything you see on this channel unless I specify otherwise. Anyway, apologies for my rant. Um, in the end, I got a 77% yield out of this process, which is actually better than I expected. If you enjoyed this and you would like to see more videos like this, consider following and subscribing for more.